of July, we celebrate Independence Day with barbecues, picnics, parades, and family get-togethers. Joining us today to help you plan your celebration is Rebecca Lang, a chef, food writer, and author of several cookbooks, such as Around the Southern Table, The Southern Vegetable Book, and Quick Fix Southern and Fried Chicken. Thanks so much for being here, Chef. Where do we start when we uh, need to plan that celebration? Well, I think the first step is to make a timeline where you can make sure you have everything ready when people ring the doorbell. So what I do is I sit down a couple of days in advance before the party and I'll write out every recipe I'm going to serve and everything that I need to have ready and that way I'm never zipping around when the doorbell rings and I don't miss those first few moments. When people come to your house, remember they're coming over to spend time with you and to really share that holiday with you. So be ready on time and a timeline will make all of that happen. It's a great way to kind of make sure it's all set off on time. So there's certain things that really make a party easy and make a party good. And starting out by making sure your guests are all hydrated is so important. So it's hot. I know y'all are hot in Texas on the 4th of July. We are in Georgia too. And I always want to make sure everybody's drinking plenty of water. So serving true lemon lemonades and limeades is really a great way to have fun water. It's more delicious. It's more refreshing. And I have two kids at home, so I really pay attention usually to what we're eating. And these um, True Lemon Lemonades and Limeades have only 10 calories a packet. They're simple, clean ingredients. They're non-GMO, no artificial sweeteners or flavorings or preservatives. And my kids love that they come in nine flavors. So a lot of times you may be like me too, Megan, that you're running around getting ready for a party and you really need some time to run to the grocery store. So I like to put the packets straight in my purse so when I'm at the grocery store, I can still have refreshing water that tastes wonderful while I'm on the go getting ready. So they're great for traveling around. And I think the key to a party and how people know you're really getting off started on the right foot is to have wonderful snacks when they come in the door. So what we like to do at my house is I serve Crunchmaster multi-grain crackers. They're really the better for you choice. I'm trying to avoid the overindulgent snacks for summertime. And I love that they're made with brown rice and sesame seeds and quinoa and flax. So they really are something you can be proud to serve. And this is one of my favorite parts because 15 crackers is only about 120 calories. So you're not standing around counting your crackers while you're trying to have fun at your party. And you can see this recipe here. We took grilled watermelon slices. So all you do is have watermelon, get it really cold and put it on a hot grill to sear it off. And then we've taken crumbled feta, some balsamic vinegar and some fresh mint and put it on top of the Crunchmaster crackers. So we have that wonderful first bite of the party that is real easy to pass on a tray and, and ready for your guest. And so usually a lot of times you'll snack in the kitchen and then you're gonna head out to the grill for 4th of July. That's what we do at my house. And so the grill is where the real fun begins because I like to have adult drinks that are really representative of the holiday. And you can tell from looking over here, we cannot get more patriotic than what we have with Smirnoff. So for a limited time only, Smirnoff has Smirnoff Red, White, and Berry and Smirnoff Ice Red, White, and Berry. So both of these are fantastic and for two different reasons. I love the Smirnoff Ice Red, White, and Berry because I put it in a cooler. I serve it straight out of the cooler in the bottles, in the cans. I don't have to worry about extra glassware around for my guests. And it's just a really easy way to serve a really fun beverage. Now, if you wanted to step it up and make a cocktail, you can easily do that with Smirnoff Red, White, and Berry. We've got a, a great cocktail here called America Mule, which we have the recipe on Smirnoff.com. But this is so fun to serve if you just want to have kind of your signature cocktail at an event. So you want to make sure that you've got all your fun things put together because it's really all those elements that make a wonderful party and everything flow together. And it just takes a little bit of planning and it can all happen. For all my recipes today, if you didn't get to write down everything, everything's on tipsontv.com and you can see everything for your party to be ready. All right. Well, happy 4th of July to you. Thanks for being here today. Thank you. Happy 4th. All right. Coming up on the show today, there's